Good afternoon, good evening, good night, and good day, and welcome to another episode of War in the Webway. I'm Ollie. I'm, as always, joined by my co-host, Alan. Say hello, Alan. Hello. So I'm just reaching to get the codex. I've <laughs> left up the other side of the room. Hello, everybody. Um, we, um, some of you may be thinking, why did it take so long for us to do this? We have lives. Um, ans- answers A, yes, we have lives, and B... Both of us kind of wanted to see, um, kind of get the codex in the hands. We've done a few test games, yeah. So we think you know the data slates dropped, or I should say the points. So Mutual we're in a field much mind. better position. Yeah, we're in a much better position than we were just a few days ago to be able to give our reasoned, which may be utter bold, but our kind of reasoned approach to where we are. So yes, that's why we're here now. So th- this week's episode, because Alan so beautifully introduced it, is the Codex. We have done the previews. We've done what we want from it. We've done. We we avoided all the spoilers because that's not official stuff, and we would look very stupid if it came out and it was very very different. But we now both have the Codex in hand. I am literally looking at the talents of the Emperor page, and I have opinions. And now I'm going to bore people with it until they log off um but hopefully somebody finds something interesting here i'm trying i'm going to try not to be massively negative it's going to be quite hard i think but we will we'll see where we go so i guess for me first thoughts like what you pick up the pick up this codex we've seen the leaks if you've seen the leaks on reddit and the other sites out there they are the right leaks you know there's no no other changes what's your first thoughts where, like where do you want to start do you want to start with points do you want to start with data sheets do you want to start with detachments do you want to sort of talk about fluff and like wh- wh- where do you want to go with this what what's what's the okay. what's your... so i think we'll do like a 10 15 minute overview <laughs> over the the, 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 so the wider codex it, it is you're right yeah but the wider codex what we think of it yep what it's missing <laughs> Um, and then we'll go into a deep dive into Shield Host. Yeah. So uh, the reason so Shield Host is because, yeah. yeah, yeah. The reason Shield Host is because it's, um, in my opinion, anyway, hands down the best. Um, it's basically like which turd's the best turd out of, out of a selection, <laughs> but it's still the best option that we've got. Which um, which might actually be are... controversial to anybody who's who's got this codex. Loads of people to work talents. But I agree with you. Yeah, I think yeah. Shield Host is definitely the one that should see most play. But we'll see. We'll it's, see. It's down, it's, it's down to one rule, basically. It's down yeah. to one rule or one enhancement. And that's it. But anyway, anyway, we'll, we'll we'll get to that when we get to it. But overall, overall. So Ollie, you're you're a bit more negative than me on this. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Go for it. Okay. So first up, four detachments suck, and it's not four; it's three. I know, I know you sent me a no maidens list, and I still think you're half joking because there's no chance that you play that list, right? The no maidens would, I no, never would. It, it, it's one of those theory crafting things that's like, oh yeah, that's quite funny, but are you gonna take that? No, I'm playing shield host. So, it's a three detachment book which sucks. It should have more. We spoke about how much flavor the ninth edition had, and all of that's gone here. So for those that you don't know, and I'm, I'm, I'm not putting up on screen the pages, that's copyrighted, we're not trying to do that sort of stuff, but we have three detachments. We have Talons of the Emperor, we have Null Maidens, we have Shield Host, and Auric Champions. Now, I'm going to start with Auric, Auric Champions as much as I want to start with something else, because I think Auric Champions is crap, like properly bad. And what I mean by that, so for those of you who don't know, Auric Champions basically allows you to uh, pick a unit, and any character model gets to re-roll, is it re-roll? Uh, I have plus, plus one to hit against that unit. Uh, sorry, plus one to wound. Plus, one, wound, to, plus one to wound, yeah. sorry, sorry, sorry. sorry. I'm, I'm flicking the codex as I go here, but it's plus one to wound, right? Or at champions. The stratagems are all to do with custodian uh, character unit. Model, sorry, model, model, model. So it's not actually affecting the unit. Now, it's... Yeah. It's, it's hero yeah. hammer, right? So, so... I can see it. They've sat around a room and they've gone, what do, What custodians? Custodians are, every single custodian is a uh, Space Marine captain. So let's play Hero Hammer. But it sucks. Like, why do they not apply the buff to the unit? So you The have... problem is, they've, they've done exactly what you've said. They've sat down in a room and gone, this is what custodians are. Let's make a shield host on this. Or oh, a, a detachment on that. The problem is, 
is that it moves fundamentally away from the core principle of yeah. 10th edition, which is scoring points by primary and secondaries. Yeah, 100%. So you're, you're, you're pimping your characters. Your rules are going in for your characters. Your, your, you know, you, you've got these ama- really good characters. I'm not going to deny you can make some really good characters there. But so it's one fella, right? So and fundamentally... You're still not going to get. I mean, could you imagine? Could you imagine? Right, and I've seen one um, one instance of this already. But can you imagine playing a few or loads of characters pimped up, right, <laughs> into the Green Tide? Oh, don't. Can you imagine that? Oh, yeah. There's your twenty boys with a, a um, five up involve rerolling ones and a five up in the pain. Up oh, heals my um, two uh, shield captains, which are. Costs a lot more than your squad. <laughs> oh, and you know, I kill what, five, six. Yeah. After both activate. Yeah. It's insane. It's nuts. So, um, but to, to, you to, know. To, to, to get the effectiveness out of this, you're going to be taking something that gives up assassinate. Your characters then have to be killy characters, so you're going to be losing your characters. So you're going to go whatever way max points and assassinate, and you're not going to be able to play the actual secondary game. So anybody can take deploy and assassinate, and then they know you're coming at them basically right um the only thing that's cool the only thing i love about this attachment is shoulder mantle so for those of you don't know shoulder the mantle is a one cp stratagem that your character unit can attach to another unit i think that's really cool i really really like that i I do like that i think there's some jank you can do on that if people i'm I'm sure people already know if they're listening to this but for example, guys, if I've got a deep strike, um, Warden Squad, I drop them, but um, I've had a character that's already been on the board, mm-hmm. and I've moved that character up to just within like 1.99 inches away mm-hmm. from my Warden Squad that I've dropped in, and then I, um, basically, because it's at the end of your movement phase, which is the same time as when you do your deep strike... As it's your turn, you can decide which goes first. So you deep strike, and then you do the shoulder, uh, shoulder mantle where you attach them. All of a sudden, your guys have got like a five or six inch charge because they're two inches closer, and then your base is over an inch, I think. So it's yeah, <laughs> yeah, it's um, that, that's literally the only junk you can do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, that that is it, um, and there's ways to kind of stop that um, if you're against any kind of opponent who knows what they're on about. That's good. But, the only other good thing is you can give your character a fort feel no pain. But why are you spending a CP to give one guy a fort yeah. feel no pain? It's it's almost ridiculous. It it it's it's really 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 bad for me. Um, usually you'd have three maybe four characters. So you you you've got a hundred and let's say you're running blade champions, right? Let's say you're running three blade champions, one hundred ten points each. That's three thirty, and let's just whack in T man Trajan. So less than 500 points of your army benefits from your army rule. How, how is that a clever idea of doing this? I, I don't... Like, fundamentally, I do not understand this detachment. I don't understand why people want to do this. I think it's the wrong way of playing Custodes. And I I looked at it, I read it, and then I forgot about it. That's as simple as that, really. Oh, you still there? I mean... There you are, yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's it's a real difficult one really difficult because there would will you, be a way would you ever play this detachment no, no no not at all look there is there is route here to go down for people who want to do the hero hammer stuff right yep um there is an option within this codex for people to do that and that is a positive thing the fact that it takes up a detachment slot when we've only got three as you say because one of them's just utter it's not even worth the papers <laughs> printed on. We, we, so, we, we will quickly glance over that one, but yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah so in, in, in effect, we, we've got two. We've we got two. two. We have two. Detachments. This Auric Champions is... It's fluff, right? In my opinion, Talents is fluff. I agree. In my opinion, Talents is fluff. This... If, there's so many things that they should have done. Um... For example, if you wanted, um, if you wanted 
real kind of auric champions heavy on characters mm -hmm. going out and trying to kill other characters you should have fundamentally used shadow keepers yes. from ninth as your base yep which was and minus one attack and reroll wounds against characters that was kind of the two yeah. two aspects of ninth. yeah yep. so you could have put you could have put in here when a character unit is in engagement range of another character unit it's minus one attack mm -hmm. and you can reroll all wounds and then you're playing into Orc Boys with all the character spam. You're like, cool, like I might actually have a chance here. Whereas Exactly, but if, it, if you're playing into, say, for example, a boy squad which doesn't have anything, but you've still got over 20 models, you're not revo well, unless you're guard. But I, I, I don't know, it's there's certain fluff they could have done. It wouldn't have made them overpowered. No, I, I, but, I agree. Yeah. But uh, anyway, let's I, move on. I, no, no, I, I, I just want to point out one thing, because the comment section is going to be like, no, 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 there's another great strategy in here. There is one called Superhuman Reserves. Basically, Trajan can fight. You can use his Moment Shackle twice. It's two CP. That's, not, mate, that's shocking. That's it, shocking. It's two CP. You have to declare it before you use the first one. So there's no guarantee you get the second one off because you know you might die. Um, it's a lot of CP. That's why I ignored it and said there's only one good strategy. But just in case you're sitting there and going, and no, there's two. Ollie, there's two. There are two, but you won't use one of them. You use it just after they've used it. Yeah. So the the problem is it's in the fight phase, right? So if yeah, yeah, Trajan yeah. fights, he and uses his twelve attacks, and then you do it. You can't then do it till the next fight phase. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So you can't pop his two plus. You've already spent your two. You've already taken your two speed. I've seen someone do it, and I just I think I threw up a little bit in my mouth. It was, <laughs> uh, <laughs> I, I, um, I saw someone do it, and then they were like, "Oh my god, this is really cool!" And I was like, mm -hmm. "You just shoot him. Like you've you spent two CP." You, it, 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 if it's fluff you're after, yeah. it's fine. If it's fluff you're after, so we've said multiple times on this, uh, on 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 this channel, we're competitive or in. Yeah. You know, we're, yeah, yeah, yeah. We're, 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 we're looking, looking for competitive. This. Yeah, but if if it's fluff, that's for you. Okay, very very quickly. We're not going to spend too much time on this. No maidens. The, no, we're the... not going to spend any time on this. <laughs> we're not going to spend any time on this. Let's just go. It's it's crap. The, okay, so for those again that haven't picked up their codex yet, No Maidens only affects System of Silence. There are only f six units in the game that are No Maidens. One's a Rhino, one's a Leia, one's the Knight Centura, and then there's three lots of sisters on foot. Um, you don't have enough sisters to get the best out of this, although I did send you a list before this, which I thought was really funny. But I don't know if you've looked at it. It's a, a bunch of sisters uh. and a couple of Telemons. <laughs> I was just like, <laughs> lol, this could be quite fun. Um, never play it. Stupid. Complete waste of paper. It's, Again, it's such a shame. I mean, they, they If they wanted to do this, they should have done it. Uh, where This should have been the Talons one. I, I, right? I was literally thinking that, right? That's what Talons should be. So let, let's go into the, our least favourite, which is Talons, and then we'll go into why we think Shield Host is the best of the competitive... And by competitive, we're talking three, two, four, one type lists. We're not talking somebody who's there to have a good time and conduct blah, 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 blah. Because Talons has some interesting stuff in there, but I don't think we think it's competitive. I'm not going to try to put words in your mouth. You tell me if I'm wrong. So ta the way Talons works is it tries to interact between the sisters and the custodies. Um, and if you're within six inches of a sister squad and a custodian squad, you both benefit from something. So the overall rule is that uh, sisters get plus one to hit, um, and custodians get a fire. It's five up, isn't it? Five up for no pain against psychic and mortal wounds. So step one, dev wounds still c kills custodians. Um, anything I've missed there? Anything you want to kind of highlight over? No, no. <laughs> okay. I think, um, I, th I, th I think one of the things that but people have got to realise that what they've done is they've tried the way they've structured this attachment yep. is that they've gone the detachment rule you need to be within a combined force yes however the stratagems you can be individual however if you want to get even more value out of those stratagems you need to be as a combined force and and the fundamental issue i have with this is that custodies are we've just lost 
dramatic amounts of durability. Okay, through the reduction of stratagems or the complete removal of protection against dev wounds. So what custodies units we have, we need to, to basically make them last longer and go further and do more damage. Yep. That's what we need to do. And this is basically encouraging you to go and remove even more elements of those custodian units and put very weak sisters in. You you know what I would have loved to have seen? I would love to have seen these as Crusader squads. So you get to mix and match a couple of custodians with sister squads. That would have been cool. I would have liked that. Be, yeah. be, be, because the whole point is that they're interacting with one unit, right? And so you'd be like, if you ever combined unit, the less killy because they're less custodies, but they're more defensive. Like something in there that allows them not to. So, because the thing that happened when this got leaked is we thought exactly the same thing. We went, we just kill the sisters. Like, what, what can pick up sisters and therefore they can't, you don't get the benefit or you don't get as much of the benefit? And it's like, so the sisters now act as attacks for you to get protection against something that's not. On mass yet, maybe T Suns come out of the woodwork and the massive or whatever. But there's not that many psychic attacks, and as before, there's not that many mortal wound attacks where dev wounds won't just be picking up custodian squads. Whereas if you could have had mixed squads, let's say you had five sisters and two custodians, and dev wounds went through, you take them on the sisters, and you've still got dev wound protection over your custodian guard. That's the sort of thing that I'd have loved to have seen, or like three custodian guard versus five sisters, or something like that. Um, yeah, I, I feel like it was a missed opportunity. Yeah, so do I. I mean, I, I think there was that element, but I also feel that yeah, it's it just doesn't click. None of it clicks. There's nothing which is like, okay, we can do this, and then that opens up this opportunity for us and enables us to do this. Fundamentally, we're still relying on um, data sheets. Mm -hmm. Whereas in our previous rendition of, of what we were using on our index, we could use rely on data sheets, but we could also rely on um, stratagems. Yes. This, this the only real, the only real positive. Well, there's two stratagems here, which are. Well, potentially three. One is the full back and charge. Full back and charge which you've is got in shield host anyway. Yeah. Yeah, which you've got in shield host yeah. anyway. <laughs> yep. One is the um empiric severance, which one CP you can get a fort fill no pain against psychic and mortals. Which if you're um, I mean yeah, it's <laughs> I it this is okay, for people listening, this really, really shocked me when I read it. <laughs> You sent it to okay. me. <laughs> I was like, yeah. I sent it. yeah. Okay, I just want people to take note of it's the same principle as the other stratagems, which is. Applies to one custodian guard squad, and if you've got a sister squad in range, it applies to them as well. It, it applies to them as well. The problem I have with this is the sisters have an inbuilt data sheet three up. Mm -hmm. Right? So why would. It's just. This is just lazy. Yep. Rules writing. Lazy. Now, is there play with this attachment? I think there is. I think probably better players than me can make it work. I can't see it, and I would struggle to find any form of enthusiasm to play this, this detachment. If you do have enthusiasm to play it, then great, fantastic. You know, I... There's potential, very minute potential, but at least there's something here. So right. the, the, the um, counter to this, sorry, on, Alan, just to interrupt, but the counter to this is four of the data sheets are battle tactics. Sorry, four of the stratagems are battle tactics. So if you, there is a potential to spam shield captains and get all the strats for free, right? In theory. Yeah, but you can't, the, in the, uh, that's a common misunderstanding. I thought the same as well, but... If you if you listen to the Art of War take on this, yeah. in the designer's commentary, right. the rules designer's commentary, you are not allowed to use a free strat ability 
right. and stratagems, I believe, if it affects another unit. Really? Something like that. There, there's something in the design commentary because when the when uh, John Lennon and um, and uh, whoever he was, awesome. um, you know, going through the the, the kind of um, codex with, they were talking. Oh well, you know, it's about a tactic, but we wouldn't be able to use it for free. That's um, interesting. If if you, if anybody knows yeah. that, I, I, I don't want to de delay on this, but if anybody knows that, please put it in the comment section. We will read that. Um, but but. If it doesn't affect the other unit, right? So if you, if, for example, the, the move, if you if you've only got one guard squad or whatever it is out out front, it doesn't affect the other unit. So you should be able to use battle tactic. You should be, but I I, I mean I'm not too sure on the wording. I haven't okay. I've okay. thought to myself. I need to go need to go look at it. But we can, we can you know we can we can look at that in another yeah, point. Yeah, but yeah, 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 yeah. if that is the case, it kind of detracts a lot of value from it. Oh, thousand percent. I'll, I'll, I'll take I'll take by that point. I, if, I was reading that being like, well, four battle tactics, shield captains at 140 now, you're getting the most out of your CP. But yeah, if you cannot do that, then that's that's a joke. That's insane. Um, it does feel yeah. like something that they'd have written as well that would be wrong. But Okay, is there anything else you want to sort of touch on on this one before we move on to No, 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 no. Let, let, let's go straight on to shield host. Okay, I, I, I do want to point out, we did speak, speak about Talons interlocked and Talons pincered at, in the previous episode. So if you want to know what we think about those, please go back and listen to that. We're not going to reiterate that here. So, the final... Oh, before we get to Shield Host, I do want to sort of... The other part that I'm disappointed, and again, we sort of said I was more negative, is the fact that the data sheets are all a bit... Yeah. We've already spoken about Trajan. Um, is there anyone, anyone else that stands out for you before I kind of tell you my opinion? I mean, look, look, I mean... Fundamentally... The data sheets were a bit strong. Um, however, you know, Trajans fight first. But they were only strong because they were overlaid with incredible um, stratagems. Yeah. Um, I've said before we should have we should have removed some of the fight first, for example. If we'd have yep. removed the fight first and have it something else, I think it would have been fine. Trajan could have kept his once again fight first. I don't see why he didn't, ignoring the modifiers, blah, blah, blah. Yep. Um, I think the problem is is that they've removed a lot, but the points haven't dropped a lot. Now, I don't particularly want them to drop because I don't want to be a horde army. Yep. But I think, that, for example, they, they haven't fixed bikes. Bikes are still fundamentally broken. Bikes are, uh, they haven't broken, just bad. Like, broken with no, empire, you can actually broken. play with them. No, they're, they're, they're broken. They're absolutely broken in terms of the rules. They don't... When I say broken, I don't mean too good. I mean broken as in, like, Bad. the rules don't work yeah, 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 with the unit. I mean, I've said it before. How can you have rules which which rely on advancing? Yeah. Two I, abilities which rely on advancing. With, without and the advancing charge. If you charge. advance, you can't shoot a charge. We, or shoot. I remember us talking about this, and we were so certain something like Solar Watch would come along, where there would be some sort of advance and charge type thing to make bikes playable. I'm I'm shocked that that's not in this codex at all. Um, how, how many points is a, a, a bikes? Is it one? What is it? Two hundred, isn't it? Hundred oh, points each. No, 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 no. It's it's like um one fifty. Is it one fifty? It was hundred points. Yeah, okay, you're fine. So it's one fifty for you to. Advance and charge and just yeah I I, I don't know I just I, I don't understand their point I don't understand who was writing this when they when they thought of that and yet every single battle report I've seen of Custodians this week has got a unit of bikes in there and I'm sitting there thinking but that's attacks why why would you do that but anyway it's yeah it's I don't, I don't know I mean it's it's it look it's not all doom and gloom let's get on a shield host. Okay, fine, shield host. I do, I do want to point out though that sorry, look, last thing, and I'll go I'll then let you talk for a bit. Blade champions have got worse as well, but they are cheaper. Re not reverling advances. To be honest, if I, whenever I advanced, and I rolled above a one, and then I thought oh, I'll reroll that. I always rolled a one. <laughs> so it, <laughs> you know what I mean? It was like so specifically designed because of you re -roll, re rolling ones. That's that's what that is. 
yeah, it, it was like, look, so I, I'm not going to miss it. If it, if I rolled a three yeah. or more, yeah, I yeah, would yeah. never re-roll anyway. I'd yeah, never yeah, re-roll yeah. it anyway. So, yeah. um, sure. look, you know, is yeah, okay, shield us. So this is going to be what the majority of this rep, the rest of this episode's about. Um, yeah, you've played yeah. Shield Host twice now, or three times. Three times. Three times, right? And so you'll you'll get a bit of a flavour for what this does and what you like about it. And um, I've seen it in action. I've, I've, I've seen what it is. so fundamentally, Shield Host is all built around one big turn of combat potential, right? So for one battle, and one thing I don't like about this, and we'll get to that. But start the battle round any battle round, you go, this is going to be my, my big boy turn, and you do martial mastery. Fives, uh, fives are critical hits, and you get an extra AP on your weapons. So, you're, you go for a bit. <laughs> I, I don't want to interrupt you, because I think this is where this is, this is where I, I want to hear your thoughts. Okay, so, healing it all back. Um, the Codex is a massive change from our index. Humongous change. Yes. You know, what have we lost? Well, we've lost, you know, a lot. I don't need to go through it. Everyone's, everyone's spoken about it. What have we gained? Well, we've gained specifically around Shield Host. Well, we've gained an ability to set the tempo of the game. Mm. Now, that is something that a lot of factions can't have, and by that I'm talking about enhancement Castellan's mark. This now, is true. You what, love this mark. Yep, what, yep, you love this mark. I love this. What this enables us to do is a redeploy of two units once we know who's going first. Now, if you couple this with a Caladius Grav Tank, mm -hmm. or even two, but decent movement to get better angles. So you could deploy two of them back, you you roll, you go first, you move them up, then you can move 10 inches and get decent angles. What this enables us to do is really grab the initiative. It enables us to get into position early on with big core units. You can put a five-man warden squad and a shield captain or a blade champion on the line know that if you get first turn you're going to be able to make it into the ruins mm -hmm. near the middle objective again previously you, again, could, not, is, you sorry, could not do this if this is your first time listening to us we play on UKTC terrain and there are standard yeah, ruins around, right. the, around the middle around the middle so when Alan yeah. says you get into ruins it's a standard map on UKTC terrain sorry sorry, sorry. Yep, so, so basically this one rule is the this one ability, this one enhancement, is the best thing in our entire book, because no one else has this. If you're, when you tell your opponent you have this, they will deploy in such a way that they're extra hidden, right? Because they'll think, oh, if he deploys there and he gets movement, his Cladius is going to pop my, what I don't know, um, repulsor or whatever. I don't know. The point is that this enables us, like I said, to set the tone of the game before the game's even started. And where we've lost a lot of defensive abilities, this helps us get into positions where we don't need to pop those defensive abilities because we're in cover or we're hidden. Um, if we go second, we can just we can just hide. So it's not it's not the best. It, it, it's not like going to win us every game. But it's very, very powerful. And if, you know, couple that with the abilities to have advanced and charge units out of a... Um, transport. Okay. Over the transporters. So, yeah. So I had, I recently played against Grey Knights, against uh, Julio. Yep. Um, really good player. He did not have anything that could pop my Land Raider. Which had a blade champion and five guard in with spears. Okay. I put I put the blade champion with uh, guard, so I get the reward to wound. Yep. And then I can fish for dev wounds. Yep. I just moved that onto the middle objective. There's nothing that could pop him, and I, I had him right on the line, so he was on the middle objective. He was in the middle area of the, of the board. At the end of my turn one. 
and he my um Julia had to deploy well back. This is with Grey Knights. So he could pick them up and move them. After if you don't know about Grey Knights, they can pick up three units and drop them at the end of my turn. If I wasn't playing Grey Knights and my opponent had deployed that far back, I would have at least turn two and three of scoring primary before he, he can't get to you. They were even exactly. And even then, I'm probably going to get turn four because I'm going to smash him back with my advance and charge out of the Land Raider. So it, it really does enable you to set the tone. Mm. Um, now, when you layer that with Martial Mastery, if you're coming out of transports, you can choose which battle round to do it in. Now, yes, it's one battle round and you've got to do it in the command phase. At the, start, that's a, that's a, at the start of the battle round, the, right? The start, the start of the battle round, yes. So, so going second phase, start is the distinctly round. worse, but... Massively worse. It's, so, interestingly, we've played with this, and you popped it, and you went second, and you popped it, and you were thinking... And, I, and, and you made me think, genuinely made me think, because I was like, if I go in now, I determine the charge, your punch back has two lots of fight phase where this is going off. Whereas if you pop it first, come in and kill me, I don't need to fight you in combat until it goes away kind of thing. And so you were saying, and you were th uh, correct me if I'm wrong, obviously, but I think the, the, the thing that you were thinking was, I get to control the, the combat for two turns here, and if he wants to play, he can, and if he doesn't want to play, I'll still get him next turn. Like, so it, it, it was a real good tactical move, where I was going, I don't know what I pick up, your punch back's going to hurt a lot, and it did. Um, and so it wasn't as much of a weakness as I thought because originally I was like oh actually me going first is a massive improvement because all you do is as soon as you pop it I'm just going to ignore it and blah blah blah, blah. but I, I decided not yeah, I mean, to it, it's a bit of mind games yeah. but fundam fundamentally that detachment is if you can get into your opponent on that turn which you should be able to right because yes. you you decide when to do it, unless they're retreating massively out of your charge range. And if they are, then you're generally going to score a lot more points. Yeah, you Because um, they'll be giving you space, right? So, um, if you can get in, you're not going to bounce. Right? And that is humongous. Yeah. It's massive. Because we've lost our ability to, um, to kind of take a hit. Right, we're we're relying far more heavily on wardens now. Yeah. Because you've got your fort feel no pain. Yeah. So whereas wardens were pretty stable, now they're guaranteed a hundred percent. Yeah. You yeah, you you you've got to have two squads, if not three. Um now they did tend to suffer if they didn't have a shield captain because they got no rewards. Yep. So you'd have to rely on putting your both katars on them. Mm -hmm. um, or all three guitars. Now, now we've lost that. And we've only got the two guitars. It doesn't matter if you've got a shield captain with them or if you've got a blade champion because you can put fives exploding and then you can put your um, sustained or lethal. Yeah. So it really pushes your wardens to kind of much higher output levels, which means they're, they're not going to bounce. And if you've got guard with someone like Trajan mm. or a blade champion they're just dishing out shed loads of, of damage because it'll be five um, to hit explode and then you're re-rolling all wounds if that's if that's the way you want to play it kind of thing um yeah yeah yeah, yeah. five to hit. i mean valerian for example you can turn oh, one yeah. to a six it's huge. yeah so or, Absolutely huge. or i mean valerian goes to ap4 that's, which is incredible right you can't you cannot underestimate and I'm, I'm getting frustrated at this at the moment how important having that extra bit of ap is as well because I'm a contempt I don't care. Done. Like even even Sagittarium, mate. Even Sagittarium. Yeah. So what I've toyed with is Sagittarium coming out of a Coronas. Um, a Coronas with um, a Blade Champion or okay. with the Shield Captain. Give them that extra added oomph in combat. Um, they're moving, shooting. They're getting the Dev wounds rerolls re because they're coming because out of the, the Coronas. Coronas yeah. Aquinas, then they're charging, and then you've got twenty attacks. AP three, one damage. AP three, one damage, With exploding fives. fives. That's nice. But then you've you've got the extra hit from your 
shield captain or your blade champion who's with them. I, I think I'd probably put a blade cha uh, shield captain because then the shield captain with the pyrothite would get dev um, dev wounds with his and, d6 plus 2 if he's... And you would be doing that's interesting, and you'd be doing both guitars at AP3. Yeah. At AP3, yeah. That's so nice. the, all of a sudden you're Sagittarium killing shooting killing combat and they're far less What's that, 225 oh, still? The same, they're, just, they're 220, 225, they're the same points as Custodian Guard, but they're, they're kind of, they're more kind of throwaway, if you know what I mean. Yeah, 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 yeah. Whereas I think, I think Guard, you play very statically, and then can take the punch back, but actually, if your Sag go out and get the kill that they're after, and pick up maybe yeah. some chaff, it, or maybe pick up something like, that, they, they feel like you'll get your points back in what in that one turn, absolutely. Yeah, yeah, because they're not relying on being on an objective. No. So, I do want to point out that Castellan's Mark isn't my favourite enhancement, I know it's yours, because it's limited to the shield captain. That's the only downside, you've got to take a shield captain, but I do tend to find that um, most of my lists have at least one Alaris shield captain. Interesting. Um, after after how much yeah. we slated what the Alaris captain was. Oh yeah, but the, the abilities changed. I, I was going to say, there's talking about data sheets, there is a one thing that the shield captain in Alaris Terminator armor does, and it's incredible. All damage is one damage. So no matter how many, like damage two, damage three, it's all one damage, which means they become. It's for the phase, though. Is it only for a phase? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, I thought it was all. Just for a phase. So, he... no, no, no. It's just for a phase. If it was always, <laughs> it'd be ridiculous. You, you can hear us turning pages here. Sorry, one second. Uh... Yeah. Yeah, it's only for the face. Um, uh, I read that completely wrong. Okay, it's still very cool. It's still very good. It is cool. It is cool. And in that turn, I'm, not, I'm to be brutally honest, I'm using him for um, deep strike into uh, rear back corner and then doing deploy teleport bombers. Um, so the only problem with that uh, is, are you taking him with Alaris to do the from golden light? No, no, no. No, he's on his own. He's on his own. So once he's down, he's down. Yeah, once he's down, he's down. Um, and if that's if I'm doing fixed. If I'm not doing fixed, he's... Um, I've, I've left a space for him in my Land Raider because I'm going to do four, four man squad oh, with, interesting. with a, an attached character and then he would be the sixth man in there. Interesting. So that's the way I'm thinking about it. But yeah, um, um, Shield Host... Um, now we did speak about stratagems for talons. Yep. Stratagems for shield host. Yep. Um, you can fall back and charge. Um, you've got sticky for battle line units, mm -hmm. which is great. Um, you've got um, the pretty much one of the only generic defensive stratagems we've got, which is minus one to hit for custodies infantry unit you know, on an objective. In now, combat, right? So. In combat, yeah, in combat, but don't underestimate that. That's really important. But it's um, worth, it's worth you... saying, sorry, it's worth saying this used to be a Qatar, and it's now moved to a stratagem only available in Shield Host. Yeah, yeah, it's kind of like, it's crap that we've lost it. Right, it's absolutely dog shit, but at the same point... It's really powerful if, if you get you know, it off. yeah. It, 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 if you can get it going, you know we've got. We can only work with the tools we've got. Um, it's true. It's very and true. And if we can use it, it's good. Avenge the Fallen is exactly what it used to be. Great and, right. um, mark, it, It's good, but I don't really use it. I never used it. You never used um, it. I, I used yeah. to use it all the time. For one CP, I think that's a very useful way, especially if you take a, a wound or two wounds, not to lose the lethality of something like wardens. So. To me, no, no, you, you, you've got to lose. You've got to lose a unit. You've got to lose a model. Oh, sorry, so the, you can't take. Yeah, yeah. You can't. That, 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 that's what I meant, right? So if you have a, if you have a unit of wardens with say a blade champion, they go in. It's a big turn. They get punched back. You pop before up for no pain. You lose one. You still one CP. They still kill what they need to kill. Like I, I've yeah, always I mean, liked Avenge. I've always liked it. To be honest, I'm running four man wardens squads. Okay, so. If I lose one, I'm down to three. 
So one CP will give me three attacks and then one extra on the on the character. Yeah, so four, it's, four extra attacks. Yeah, it's it's probably not if I'm not killing it with what the unit's doing already. Um, those four extra attacks because I've got fifteen attacks with the guard. Oh, sorry, with the wardens, and then five attacks with the blade champion left. It's you know four extra. If I'm not killing it there, I'm, I'm not killing it. That's a fair point. Um, it's a fair, fair way of thinking about it. That's a fair way of thinking about it. Um, arcane gen- genetic alchemy. Fort feel no pain against mortals. Crap. Um, look, you know this. We talked about this on our. What do we want? We have zero protection from dev wounds. Yep. In the past, when we had zero protection, we had fallbacks, which is minus one damage, and then we migrated to wardens. Now we've only got migration to wardens. We don't have the minus one damage. So this is going to really sting. Really sting. Um, uh, I, I genuinely feel that... Okay, look at it like this. Someone said to me the other day, why don't you take a... Uh, why don't you use Galactus Dreadnoughts? Now, apart from the fact I think they're crap, right? In terms over-costed. of, yep. uh, yeah, overcosted. If someone does a dev wounds on it, each dev wound that's through is seventeen point five points. <laughs> is that how okay, it works out? Ten, got ten, yeah, the, the ten wounds, one hundred and seventy five points. So each dev yeah, wounds yeah. that goes through is seventeen point five points disappeared. It's gone. So that's when you start to think of it like, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So when you start to think of it like that, you start to think, hmm. You know what I mean? Start to think: is is this kind of like where where, where I want to be? Uh, that's a that's a lot of points. Um, it's a lot of points for each wound it's gone through. Yeah. Um, and that obviously flows down as well to the to a lesser degree the um, the wardens or the uh, so okay the, so or, or, or you're the guard. If we talk, and you know, we've been rambling for a while now, so if you got this far, well done. But um, if we talk about your lists, then are you designing them around three wardens with blade champions, one shield captain Alaris? You've already mentioned the uh, land raider. What else is in your list? Or are you not running three warden squads? Not running three wardens. So fundamentally, um, people who are listening, the, the way that I like to run, and I think the way that we'll slowly move down to to be as competitive as this rules set will allow us to be, uh, especially in the current meta, we'll probably end up having one or two Gladius. My list has one. We'll have one... Um, we'll have one transport. I'm switching over to a van, a land raider, over a Coronas. Really? We'll probably have the two... The yeah. Last cannons. It's 40 points more. It's it's forty points more. It is for the last cannons, but it's also for the fact that, um, whereas I have to have a shield captain, yeah. my uh, and and I want to run Valerian because he's he gives us extra defensive abilities. It means that I don't have as many advance and charge. Okay, so you champs, to do which the, means assault ramp. Assault ramp. Got yeah, it. yeah. Got it. Um, and then I have Draxus. With a guard squad. Classic. And then the rest is sisters. And then I usually find I've got enough for another guard squad if I want to run a second Inquisitor. Okay. Or if I want to run an assassin, then I can probably beef up my two warden squads to five man. Or I can take, potentially if I drop another sister squad, another... um, Another, um, what do they call it? a Caladius. So I'm, I'm, I pretty much got about seventeen hundred points of my list sorted. Um, against Grey Knights, it was such a tight game. I think I won by two points in the end, mm. but I thought I was going to get hammered because of my lack of ability to, to, to kind of take a hit from his. Um, anything <laughs> literally anything anything at all right um however aren't they strength six minus two for I, two 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. that's what I mean. So proper, proper custody killers. Yeah, yeah. But I managed to really control the center and kind of control where he could drop. But um, yeah, for me, Shield Host gives me that um, durability and and kind of control through the redeploy a bit of durability when I need it through the defense against mortals strat which is the battle tactics so I can spam that or the minus one to hit the minus one to hit is massive gonna really struggle into death guard we can make them hit on fives yeah. we can make them hit on fives we're gonna struggle into um, only, only one unit hit on fives though right so it's again it's yeah, 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 yeah. where that battle is yeah, but the, what you do is um, for example, if you're multi-charging, you've just got to make sure that what you're multi-charging is you've got the ability to do that for feeling the pain. Um, and then use that as your defensive ability. If you've got two units and you know he's going to interrupt, pop the feeling yeah, the pain yeah. Yeah, yeah, on yeah. whoever you're not fighting first with. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then, then you can overlay that with the minus one to hit. Yeah, um, so. Yeah, yeah, it's it. I, I don't know. I, kind of rounding this off because we've been rambling for quite a long time now, guys and, and girls. What we're what we're struggling to deal with here is there's been huge shift with how we play. Yeah, there's been massive shifts with our durability, but there hasn't been massive benefits to our lethality. And. We need to find a balance within each of these detachments to on the tabletop. And I think at local level, RTTs, you know, small GTs, f friend groups, we're going to be all right. You know, we're going to be all right. We're going to be able to put stuff on the tabletop, which gives I us a good time. I think you'd be looking at a 1 2 2 1. Like 2 1 should be okay. Matchup dependent, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think. Any larger scale GT, we're going to really struggle, especially if the meta devolves into horde meta. Um, yeah, yeah. I, I think as we go further down the line and, and we play more and more, we get more reps under our belt. We'll we'll kind of gauge it. I mean, I'm I'm throwing five man uh, guard squads with a blade champion into. Into... You know, it's a 50-50 if I'm going to win. Sorry. A 50-50 if, uh, uh, if I'm going to kill them. It, it, that cut out. You're throwing them in a five-man guard Oh, squad. yeah, so, so... Or four-man guard squad. Say, for example, into your... Um, into your eight-bound or something. Yep. Or into a, into a blob of Terminators. Yep. Or into... Um, for example, I went into a load of Paladins. Mm -hmm. against Against Julia. And... On, on the turn which I did Martial Mastery... I killed a six-man or five-man paladin squad and Drago. Wow! And I still had half the squad. I think no, I think I had a, a couple, one or two guys that hadn't even swung. Wow! So the point is, uh, at, at, at the moment, I I can't gauge where everything is kind of. Do you know what I mean? I, I can't gauge it. Whereas before, I used to be able to go. Oh, if I go in there, I'm not going to kill it. I'm not going to go in. You should just yeah. know it. Because I've yeah, played it yeah. so much, and now I'm like, what do I do? <laughs> yeah, I, I, I think my summary, my summation of this is kind of, it's echoing what you said, which is the codex is now very different to the index, and people need to get used to it being different. So I think that if you play it like the index, you're going to lose your models quickly, and you'll get quite frustrated. I think that... So I've got a very different list that I want to kind of play and try, um... Locally, more than going to take him to a GT. But to do that, I need to buy two Coronises, which sounds like quite a lot, and it is. But it's this whole, <laughs> it's this whole like, Warden's coming out of transport, so the transports acts as the defence. Because people can't really pop Coronises in the same kind of way. Um, and then with the Blade Champions, they advance and charge out, and on the turn that they go in, I want to bring down nine Venetari, Warden's coming out of Coronises, and just smash people. And just see how much damage they can actually do on that one big turn that's kind of my idea with the free rapid ingress with the with the venatari with the coronises um and just kind of just see how much damage you can do 
Because I do... Th- you, you are right. The Shield host has the best way of increasing lethality. But there is no defense here. Um, when we played, it's- I, I, I was absolutely shocked by how much not having minus one damage, not having... Um, yes, you had the minus one to hit, but it was only on one unit. Like, that was just the stuff that you were forced to pop your four plus feel no pain early. You killed the stuff when it did, but then afterwards, I just was able to get through you. Um, yeah, and, and I, pick up. You, we, we die so fast now. Yeah. And we're the same points. Yeah, and and before, this, this is a World Eater game. We we both said, "Oh yeah, custodians are worldy. It's, it's custodians every time." And I was just like, "Oh, w- I was picking up units, and it sh- you shouldn't be able to do that." But it's a different army now, and I think it's it's different army. Yeah, yeah. and I I think can, can, can I ask one final question I've before watched... we go? Sorry. Yeah, go for it. Go for I was gonna say one of the things that people have spoke quite a lot about about custodians is that they're a beginner friendly army because it's a low model count or whatever. I don't think this codex is beginner friendly. It's not. It's not. I um, think that if you're a beginner just... picking this up, you're going to be frustrated. It's it's not beginner friendly. It never was. We I did a whole know, episode on are we easy to play. Um, one of the things that really gets me when I listen to other... Um, other YouTube. I mean, I know I've mentioned them a lot, but the the guys on the Red Path seem to really have it in for custodies. <laughs> <laughs> uh, they they must have been uh, uh, had their fair share of whoopings. But I think one of the things it, it really does, um, I won't say trigger me, but it annoys me when they say that it's no skill to play. Yeah, I think, I've um, heard this. Yeah, and I think. I remember going to um, okay. I remember the Kent RTT I went to not so long ago, mm. and there was a there was a there was a new a new custodies player, and he went he lost all three of his games, and in the last game he he played against another custodies player who who beat him, and. They came over and were watching kind of me playing against uh, Tyranids at the end, and I got chatting to them, and we were we were talking about how like the movement. Oh, if you move that there, he's got line of sight, so I'm going to put him over there. And he was looking at it, and 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 you could see the new player was kind of like looking at the the movement and the rules, and it's exactly what we said on our video. Right. If you haven't listened to it, go check it out, guys. It's it's the are we an easy faction to play? And it was we more than anyone rely on movement, even more so now. Yeah. And to just kind of categorise that in one fell swoop, it it kind of detracted away, I think, and it detracts from a lot of people who want to play custodies, and it 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 just kind of made me think. Uh, fine. Fuck you. Um, <laughs> I mean, it was it was it's quite funny when uh, I've heard so many people talk about how um, oh custodies, you know, fight first, or, fight first shouldn't be in the game, fight first shouldn't be in the game, and it's always world eater players, <laughs> and they've got it on the mind. Hey, 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 hey! hey. Just, <laughs> sat <there. laughs> just, just sat there. And I'm like, what are you? What are you? When my you can't have fight it first, one side. You're like, oh, that's like ah. Yeah, it's, it's that you can't have it one side and not the other. You know, if you're going to complain about fight first you, and then you spam it yourself, it's not... It's, but anyway, anyway hey, I hey, digress. Hey, hypocrites. But, <laughs> it's a thing. What, one of the, I, I do want to mention one other thing, and that was um, very much that if you're kind of new... To, I, I've seen a lot of people saying they don't want to play Custodies, that... It's, it's bollocks, it's shit, blah, 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 blah. It's not. Um, hey, stop we do my have, texts. We do, <laughs> we do have a core here, and I would just say just stick with it. Um, you know, just just, just stick with it, just, just give it a go. If you're not enjoying it, switch. But you may find that you do enjoy it. And, uh, yeah, and it... it 
we're going to need kind of as as many people playing the faction and kind of giving feedback to GW as possible. But I I generally think just to round this off, we'll be at around forty five win win percentage rate. That's where so I think we'll I, be. I reckon we'll be at fifty because that's that three two two or two three rate ratio. Exactly that, right? I would say custodians are now an army you need to get your reps in with. Um, I think that if you turn up to a tournament and think you get your three two, you won't. You have to know when the trade is, and if you're using talons and you're not getting it, try shield host because shield host has the damage output. But you will have to build for for that one turn where it goes in, and you won't be able to drip feed it in. You'll, it's, a, it's a smash turn. It has to be a smash turn. And sometimes it won't work. Yeah, yeah. So sometimes you'll roll all the fours and you won't get your fives and you won't roll any of the wounds. And you're like, cool. <laughs> that, that, that's that done. Next game, please. But um, when it does go off, it is quite impressive to see. Yeah. yeah. And who knows? We may see some crazy builds. Um, Double which... Coronas America incoming. Look, I'm telling you. Uh, I mean, uh, was it uh, Art of War would put the Coronas as the worst unit in our, in our book? What? 200 points yeah. I know I was I was shocked I need to go watch that because I, I, okay <laughs> I, 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 I strongly disagree with that one <laughs> it's yeah I mean uh, I, I was just kind of I mean is that next but, week's episode worst custodians unit and how it's not the Coronas <laughs> oh, there's 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 oh, I mean I can't believe they put bikes above Coronas what no! Okay, right. Different episode. That's not now. We spoke, spoke for too long. I've got nothing else to say. Spoke for too long. Um, I'm done. I'm done as well. I'm done as well. Okay, cool. Thanks so much, guys. If you've got made it this far, and if you've got the new codex, if you've got ideas for your lists, please put them below. We will read them, comment, and see if there's any ideas that we can share. Yeah, absolutely. All right, guys. That's it. I'm out. Thanks, guys. Bye-bye.